Hello, welcome to another video where I'm going to showcase a core that's just unbreakable in competitive open Great League and that's why you'll probably see it a lot as well. It's also a pretty expensive core. I'm going to show it to you right here. The core is Licky Tongue Medicham. There's nothing that hard beats both of these Pokemon. The closest are probably Skarmory and Air Slash Mandibuzz, I believe Snarl Mandibuzz uh, still loses to Medicham with Ice Punch at least. Um, everything else, um, Needle Queen might get close, but only with Shields up. Um, everything else doesn't beat both of these at least, um, not closely. Um, basically, Lickitung beats the Ghost that beat Medicham, and Medicham beats other fighters that beat Lickitung. Now, obviously, Lickitung is not weak to Medicham, so that's kind of an exception at Lickitung is still a very strong safe swap against like a um, or is very strong on the safe swap against like a surfetched uh, or machamp right if you have a few licks advantage you can still flip those which is just crazy um and um yeah like tongue is, is just really good in that and medicham covers it its weakness uh, like that very well um so yeah let's take a look at uh the player we're going to take a look at today it's trent you might know him from some play pokemon tournaments or um at the top of the leaderboards he's really good and frequently up there he was kind of unlucky last season um almost qualified for worlds but barely didn't make it um and he's going to uh he he sent these battles to showcase the Medi Licky Corn, how good he is with that because uh, I played him as well and I can confirm he's pretty good. His first matchup is against Chomas, who's also a streamer um, and who's also running the Medi Licky Core. Uh, if you run this core, you, you basically always have play. You basically always have play. They have a very similar team. Um, I guess the only difference here is that Trent runs a Lantern, which is kind of new in the, in the competitive play now with Surf, and Chomas has an Altaria, which is also. It's not a new Pokemon, but it uh, its usage is kind of renewed now, right? Because of Warren's kind of gone. Let's take a look at um, these battles. We're going to showcase one battle from each set of three. Um, let's see. Trent leads his Licky Tongue into Chomas. Now, into Chomas' G Fisk. Now, this is somewhat neutral. G Fisk usually takes this because. Um, it just has those strong stab moves here, right? The Earthquake, while well, Lickitung um, is bulky. It has decent damage output, but Lick and Power Whip are only neutral, not stab. They don't hit as hard as the Earthquake. Uh, both players decide to shield immediately. They probably want to go for Switch. Um, if Trent is expecting an Altaria on the back, he doesn't need it as much. But he might be expecting a G Fisk in the back, which would be a little bit scary. And looks like Chalmers makes a really good catch on uh, opposing Skarmory. Um, this is probably to bait out the uh, G Fisk. Um, I guess as Trent, you're gonna bring that in regardless. But Trent uh, builds up some energy first, uh, so that's, I like that play as well. On top of that, with the lick damage, you probably get this into two Rock Slide range, maybe. Let's see if uh, if Trent got close with that now. Throws a rock slide here. And this oh, the second one will barely not take out. Okay, he still needs three moves. Unless this is a Brave Bird, of course. Uh, as Trent, you always want to come out... Oh, it is a Brave Bird. As Trent, you always want to come out with a lot of energy uh, of this matchup. Um, so you can Earthquake the next Pokemon that comes in. And in the back is the Licky Tongue from Chalmers. Obviously, you bring Licky Tongue when there are no hard answers on either side's uh, team. G Fisk is like the best Licky answer both players have. Um, so, yeah, two Earthquakes coming in. We'll almost take out this Licky Tongue. And now Chalmers is kind of uh, checkmate because Licky Tongue um, has no charge moves to hit this Skarmory. Honestly. It still puts up a very good fight in when, when shields are up. Lickitung actually can win the two shields as well. Um, I believe one, the one shield depends on whether you call the Brave Bird. And, um, but yeah, when, when you're solo already, those body slams are not going to make a difference, right? It's mostly the licks. Chomas makes a good no shield there. Knows that the Earthquake will one shot and not this Sky Attack. But Skarmy's too healthy. Will probably barely survive another... Um, Another rock slide, but Chomas makes a good catch on the sky attack here. Can you farm down as Trent here? This actually gets really close, but Trent's really confident here. He's going to farm down with one of his Pokemon, I believe. He still had some energy on his Licky Tongue as well. 
Let's see, farms out with the G Fisk here. Goes for the rock slide. Um, this does nothing on opposing G Fisk, but I think Thomas will be very afraid that the Licky Tongue can lick this thing that down. And uh, Trend, I think he might even have a body slam stored already. Yeah, I think, he, yeah, he licked uh, to a body slam, a power whip even, before swapping his G Fisk into that Skarmory earlier. So he has the power whip now, and that wins him this game. Pretty fun battle with all the switches around. I think, did both players bring the same line? They did. Licky Tongue, Jeefus, Skarmory. That's 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 funny. It was a it was a mirror team there, but uh, Trent takes that matchup there. Uh, I guess locking the Skarmory into that uh, Jeefus was tough, and on the other hand, Trent uh, taking all that damage on the Skarmory when Licky Tongue had so much energy from Thomas uh, made him the game as well. Let's take a look at the second matchup against Sir Corey, who has a Tropius. We haven't seen Tropius in a while, really, in competitive grade league. Um, but he also runs um, Licky Tongue Medi again. I'm not sure how attractive it is to run the the Tropius when there is a Skarmory on the opposing team. Um, Skarmory is the hardest wall to Tropius. Um, so that's not... It's not really nice to bring Tropius here, unless you really expect that Lantern. Um... On the other hand, I think we're going to see a lot of Medicham and Lickitung here again. Let's take a look. Troby's probably one of those Pokemon that can get really close beating uh, the Licky Medicore. This is a very good lead for Trent if this is Charm. And the opponent decides to say swap their Lickitung right away. This is very fine for Trent. Probably going to throw a charge move and then swap into uh, his Lickitung to keep his uh, Skarmory healthy. He actually is satisfied with just the Air Slash damage and swaps into his own Licky immediately. Now, the thing I do like a lot about this is that Trent doesn't stall the clock too much uh, by this. If you throw a charge move and um, your opponent throws a charge move when after they swapped out, you align, you misalign the, the, the switch timer by about probably 30 seconds or so, right? Which is half the switch clock and that allows your opponent to swap out again later if they want to. Um, so, yeah. Tr and that's what actually happens now. That's actually what happens now. But because Trent did not throw a Sky Attack, he made that only minimal while securing Switch Advantage. So that's very nice for him. He can just go into his Skarmory again there and now launch his Sky Attacks here. Now this might still be an iffy situation. Is Corey is one of those crazy guys who brings an Alolan Knight to lead and uh, Tropius in the back. Because Trevenant is not great against Tropius. Um, unless Rage Leaf, but I highly doubt that. The weather ball still chunks. Uh, Skarmy gets a little bit low here. It already took some licks, some charms, some weather balls. But its defensive typing is so good. And it might be able to get to a Brave Bird somewhere as well. Um, but Sir Cory is counting very well. Throws right before the Brave Bird. Trent wants to get that off. Uh, I kind of like that play. Um, you need to get the Licky Tongue lower when you have a Travenant uh, in the back, right? And Cory might smell that. Cory is probably smelling that Travenant in the back. Trent still has that energy though, so uh, so far this is a very neutral game. And in the back is the Stunfisk, no longer a neutral game, because Trevenant beats Stunfisk pretty convincingly with even shields. Uh, the Rock Slides don't do enough here, they do barely less than 50%. The Mud Shields don't do much damage at all, and that makes Trevenant pretty solid in his matchups. When you have two shields as the G-Fisk here and you have an energy advantage, you can actually make this matchup very annoying for Trevenant by just shielding. Um, you can actually flip it if you land a Rock Slide and a Surprising Earthquake. You can o you only have to shield once then and farm it down. Looks like uh, Trent is not even throwing his move. Doesn't want the opposing Licky Tongue to get any farm, but he's going to farm down with his own Licky Tongue. Instead, he has two, two and a half body slams here. He needs... Three body slams probably to win this game because opposing Lick Tongue obviously is tanky. The body slam is not going to do too much there. The power whip probably also barely doesn't do it. It does do a little bit more damage, but it's non step. It doesn't do that much more. Um, and then you'll have to lick down. Well, you'll see how much those licks do. They don't do much. But he gets with that extra energy to the body slam and that wins him the game. Very smart play by not throwing that move from the Trevenant so you get more farm on Lick Tongue. Very well played, very well played. <clears throat> I believe two the both sets both sets were won two one by Trent. Might be wrong by one number. Um Trent versus Wudash. Wudash, um a child prodigy, a very, very strong player. I don't know if you saw him 
during the Baltimore regionals, but um, he makes some really smart plays uh, as well. And he is running um, Umbrian as well, which I really like. I like the Umbrian Needle Queen core a lot. Umbrian is a tank that can take anything, and Trent does not have a hard answer to it. You think Medicham is a hard answer? It's not. It's not. It's not. You you almost lose the zero shields. If Umbrian has too much energy advantage, you lose the zero shields against Umbrian as Medicham. Umbrian is one of the more solid Licky Tongue answers as well. Um, not the greatest, but you 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 win the even shields pretty solid. Let's take a look at what both trainers are going to use here. Um, <clears throat> we got Licky Tongue into Skarmory. Um, that's a surprising pick by Wadash, in my opinion, because um, there's Lantern and G Fisk on Trent's side. Two things that are in the back for Trent as well, by the way. I would expect Trent to swap out here, but looks like he's going to take a move first. That is the Brave Bird. Looks like Wadash probably swapping out here. Um, I don't know what to think of this. Um, Wadash doesn't have a hard, really, like a really hard uh, Lantern answer on his line. Kind of depends on the fast move of uh, the Lantern, of course. Um, so maybe that has some play. I guess you kind of do want to switch as Trent here. Umbrian can flip this if you shield the Earthquakes correctly. Right? If you shield a, a Rock Slide, it's over or something. You don't win it anymore. <clears throat> Another Earthquake coming through and then a Rock Slide should do it to take Switch advantage again. Wadash opting to no shield here. I'm pretty sure I know what Wadash is going to run in the back. It's probably that... Um, what's it called? The Swampert, he is a, he's a big fan of it. And Trent counting very well CMPs on this Rock Slide. Let's see. It does go through what's in the back. It is a Swampert. And oh boy, oh boy. Trent swaps in his Lantern immediately. Um, that's kind of an iffy play. Because I feel like um, you could get a shield immediately with the Licky Tongue. If you lock in the the Skarmory with your Licky Tongue again, um, you get can get a massive farm on lantern but let's see maybe he can still play this out he shielded one bait so far um Wudash is in a very good spot now can probably get two earthquakes at this point because it paces much faster than those serves from water gun lantern in comes another it's about seven seconds so seven mud shots to a surf uh, which almost equally paces to an earthquake of swampert and this might be the earthquake already <clears throat> Let's see. It is the earthquake that will hurt. Oh, but he has. Ah, this looks difficult. All your charge moves are resisted here. The licks and resisted body slams have to do it here for Trent. Now, Skarmy is a very slow Pokemon. Trent has a lot of energy on his Licky Tongue. This might, might be possible. Might be possible. You'll see the power of Licky Tongue here. Our resisted charge moves doesn't matter. And Trent makes an incredible catch here. I think that Wadash went over by one air slash, but Trent predicted that. Catch the sky attack and can now get two moves here probably. Might even lick down the Skarmory even. And then power with the Swampert. What an incredible game. Incredible game. So here you really see the power of Lickitung. How good it is. You think Skarmory is a good answer? It's not. It's not. Lickitung can just flip that. On the other hand though, as Skarmory you can probably no shield most moves. Uh, because they don't do much. So if you want to take shield advantage, Skarmory is just fine against Lickitung there. The next matchup, Trent versus Leon Bernal, um, also a user of the Licky Medicor and also a K9. You don't see K9 as much anymore, which is pretty interesting. One of the things K9 used to be good against is Wallerain Trevenant Core, but now that Wallerain is kind of gone, there's only Trevenant left really as targets, I believe. Um, there's not a lot of people running Registu anymore. G Fisk is so so. Um, because Rock Slides and Earthquake both hit really hard. So K9 is a bit tricky to use nowadays. Let's see uh, what the matchups are going to be. We have Stun Fisk into Trevenant. Kind of a bad lead for Trent. But I guess he's kind of fine with it. Because um, he has Medicham in the back. And Medicham does lose hard to Trevenant. <coughs> yeah, Trent only really has one... Um, yeah, he has two Trevenant answers. Like, Skarmy is still fine against Trevenant. Um, you do have to shield those Shadow Balls because they hit really hard. Let's see, Trevenant is over. Tre Trent is over farming and catches a Shadow Ball. This is scary because what might happen now is that this Trevenant might get aligned later to 
to a meta gem to the meta gem from Trent. On the other hand, he does bait out the Altaria, I guess. Um, so that's nice, right? You get rid of the Altaria here. Um, your meta gem doesn't have to face this. You still have a Trevenant to deal with, though. So not optimal, really. If you can get a farm down with meta gem, may maybe uh, you can Psychic or Ice Punch that Trevenant. Licky Tongue is very bulky, but getting to that next body slam will be so clutch here. Let's see. Oh, it does get shielded, though. I don't think it was necessary for the Altaria, but I guess this works fine for uh, for Trent. Goes into the g fist here to throw the Rock Slide. Did they just catch that? Yeah, they did. They, they caught it on their trap. Interesting. Now they can get farmed down. I don't know. I don't know if that's what you want. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you want. What's in the bag now? It really depends. It's the Nine Tails. Um, Nine Tails is not gonna appreciate any of this energy from G Fisk. And they do shoot the first move. Trent is only two away from an earthquake, and this will one shot this Kanto Nine Tails. Um, kind of iffy team from the opponent against the G Fisk. Um, especially considering they're quite weak to G Fisk on their line. And Trent decides to let this go. Just clean up with the Medicham. Play it safe. Medicham, honestly, isn't even the worst against Altaria. Like, Ice Punches add up so much. A Sky Attack, you can take one if needed, honestly, on Medicham. And the opponent goes for Moonblast. Praise for a no shield. Moonblast still wouldn't take out Medicham, but um, would definitely chunk. And that's game over. Well played by Trent. Kind of an iffy team from the opponent there. Very weak to G Fisk, especially with so much energy. Um, but also a very good catch from Trent on that Shadow Ball, of course. The next matchup is against myself. We're both 4 0 at the moment in this tournament. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm actually not a user <laughs> of Medi Licky in this tournament. I do use that core quite often. It gives you, it just gives you play everywhere. But I want to try a Jump Bluff team this time. And. Um, I'm somewhat in a tricky situation because I already feel the Medi Licky core coming from Trent. It just looks so good. And I also don't have a heart. I only have one heart Skarmory answer, right? So that makes it a little bit tricky. Um, my Scrafty looks somewhat good. It can actually beat Skarmory as well. But um, against Medi, which is very likely coming, I just die. So let's see how Trent's going to play against me. He leads Licky Tongue into my Sableye. Ugh, that's not great. I believe this was the second game, and um, I'm staying in here. I know that there's going to be Medi in the back from Trent here. Um, but Trent doesn't really have many hard um, Azumarill answers. So basically, that's what I'm trying to go for here. Actually, he does have Lantern and Trevenant, but I didn't expect it from him, right? And I do catch that Power Whip. I catch a super effective Power Whip, but I know that since there's Medi in the back, I just want to keep that energy. I just want to keep that energy. I want to keep the Sableye, right? Because Sableye is fine against Skarm and against Medi. Uh, Trent tries to catch the player off there. I went straight Ice Beam, though, so ha. And they see him pee me on that Sky Tech that they barely undercharge. Interesting play. <clears> that doesn't do much, especially because I have a rank 2 Azumo here. I might even be able to get to another Ice Beam, which would be kind of devastating for Trent if I do, because... Oh, I barely don't get there. Oh, that's tough. Uh, that's tough for me, and very fortunate for Trent here. He lets this uh, Skarmory go. Doesn't throw a Sky Attack, uh, but since he has Switch, he doesn't really need it. Comes back in with the Licky Tongue here. And at some point has to throw his power whip, which he does now. This doesn't KO the Excel Sableye that I have yet. Um, but it does do quite some damage. I still get to a move here. If it is a return, it will KO. If it's a foul play, it doesn't. And Trent knows this is a foul play, it doesn't KO. And then I bring in my Nido Queen. Um, I know there's Medicham in the back. This is a tough uh, decision for myself. Because this thing has super effective moves. Look how I'm talking from my side when when we're when we have Trent's battles here. My apologies, <laughs> but um, yeah, at this point Trent's just going to uh, counter me down. There's no no point anymore into uh, throwing charge moves. You just want to get all your counters through at this point and hope that the Needle Queen doesn't get too many fangs here. And even if it does, 
Um, he still had a shield. He still had a little bit of a licky tongue. So well played by Trent. Very tough alignment for me there. I guess I baited out the Skarm with Azumarill, but didn't pull through with the Needle Queen, unfortunately. The combination of licky tongue and Medicham proven to be strong yet again. Um, the next matchup, Trent versus Dilap Churn, yo. This player is a god. This player is a god. Dilap Churn in Great League. He went... Like an organization is hosting a thousand dollar cash prize pool tournament, Dilap is just like, yo, let me just farm this tournament real quick. I'll just win that real quick. And he usually does. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, here we go. Stuntfisk into Licky Tongue from Dilap. That's a decent lead. And it looks like it's going to be pretty neutral in the back. But if Trent knows Dilap, um, he knows that there's going to be Swampert in the back because Dilap hacking loves Swampert. But also, Trent probably wants to bait out Altaria again. So let's see what Trent's going to do here uh, for plan. The Pokemon Dilap has on his line are all Pokemon he's very comfortable with. Um, he's very all around with uh, with all of this stuff. Let's see what's going to happen here. He, uh, Trent goes for the Earthquake immediately. Does Dilap go for Switch here? He does go for Switch. And Dilap, uh, Trent decides to go into his Licky Tongue right away. Just to take that body slam here, to take all the energy here. I wonder what they have in the back then. We get a little bit of lag there. Just a classic, honestly. Another body slam coming in. Looks like uh, Dynap is just dumping some energy here. I would expect Medicham in the back if you run Leaky Tongue. But it is Altaria. Uh, Dilap already is a shield down. So it kind of makes sense to dump your energy there. Uh, Altaria is good against Leaky Tongue, but not like a hard counter. And at this point, Trent can stall the clock so much that he might be able to even get back into his G-Fisk uh, as well. It looks like he is reaching for that swap, does get it. And now we'll be able to get to a Rock Slide here, probably. You do survive the Sky Attack here. Um, Moonblast might get you really close, though. Does he get to another Rock Slide? He does get to a Rock Slide. Really nice for Trent here. He's in a very good spot, I feel like. Only a Trevenant could ruin his day at this point. But Dilap decides to go two shields down there and farm down this g -fizz. It's kind of surprising, but also a very smart play. I think Dilap knows that there is a meta gem in the back here. And Trent decides to go into his Licky Tongue. Dilap knows that he's very close to a Body Slam, so throws Skytech and Melee. And now, looks like Trent's going to try and sweep with this meta gem. You have two shields, this is your time to use them. <clears throat> now keep in mind Dilap still has three Pokemons here um, and in comes the Trevenant which actually is great against his Medicham but Trent ha still has a shield as Ice Punch will take out this Trevenant and at this point you probably want to look into farming everything down with Counter as um, as Trent but there's still that Licky Tongue from, from Dilap as well look at that farming up from Trent really good counting there um, is this gonna do it though? Probably needs that max energy for opposing Licky Tongue. It already threw two body slams uh, before, so okay. Looks like uh, Trent gets to the psychic. Now he needs to count down the Altaria, but how healthy is it? Oh, that's such a close game. That's a one HP win from Dilab. Really, really good game from both players. Uh, yeah, that's insane, honestly. Um, fun fact, Dilab also swept this tournament. <laughs> it's crazy how this guy does it. Um, let's take a look at the last matchup for Trent. He is 5-1 at this point, and the final matchup is against It's AXN, the winner of the NAIC regional. And he's running a buzz wall, which usually is not permitted at the moment uh, at the regionals, and a Ruderigus. Ruderigus, in my opinion, is not that great for competitive play, because there's always Licky Tongue all over the place. And Runeriga sucks against uh, Licky Tongue. Like, you only have Sand Tomb, and it's not going to do much. Um, it's XN also loves Nido Queen, so we might see some of that. But other than that, I think uh, Trent has a pretty good matchup with that Skarmory. Let's take a look. We got Trev into Altaria from AXN. This is somewhat neutral. Um, obviously, Altaria outbulks and hits really hard with those Dragon Breaths. But uh, the, the 0 and 1 shields here are actually really, really close. Because the Shadow Ball and the Claws hit really hard. I'm not sure if you win the, the 1 shields as Trav here. I think barely not. 
But look at how much the claws are adding up. The Shadow Ball is going to do so much. Trent Strong at the very end of his Shadow Claw. Making sure AXN doesn't catch on like his Licky Tongue. And yeah, you barely don't win that matchup. But they both blind swap and oh boy. <laughs> Trent swaps, accidentally swaps his Licky Tongue into that Buzz Wall. Um, crazy play from AXN. Uh, wanting to farm down that Trevenant immediately there. I think you might survive a lunch here honestly. Look at the buzzwall fletching flexing again. But superpower you don't. So at this point you might be able to um screen it down with the with the lantern. I haven't seen much lantern from Trent, but um it does a job usually. Looks like um Trent brings in Trevenant to make this uh buzzwall throw energy. It's the best buddy buzzwall by the way. Look it had the, the ribbon at his on his leg, interesting. And in the back is a G Fist. Now he does have Water Gun Lantern. So that makes his matchup more doable for Lantern. But G Fisk will probably outpace to Rock Slide Earthquake if they get that Rock Slide base. So what does Trent do here? Oh my god, he calls a Rock Slide. That's so ballsy. That's so ballsy. And I'm pretty sure this is not a Rock Slide because they need five Mud Shots for the next move. And Trent knows as well. And Trent knows as well. So he knows shields that I'm probably going to try and water gun down this Altaria. A Moonblast would do way more. So that may have been a very good no shield there. I think Trent also just knew that his Wincon was calling that a rock slide. Because um, otherwise, if you shield that and uh, even if the, the, the G Fist throws another rock slide, then the Altaria throws a Moonblast and you faint to that as well. Um, so yeah, again. This core here, so good, so good. If you're for real, if you always, if you're afraid to be hard counted, if you just want to play in every matchup, this is your core for competitive greatly. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Thank you, Trent, for featuring these battles, and I'll see you in the next one.